Hello students, if you're watching this video, it's because you need to make up the Color Symphony Lab that you missed and uh, you didn't show up for after school help, so now you're going to have to do this on your own at home. Um, first though, you're going to have to see the Color Symphony demonstration done uh, by me, and so I'm going to just videotape myself uh, doing this demonstration, and uh, you can just watch and follow along. Um, you will need the lab worksheet. It looks like this, and it can be found on my website under Classroom Documents Unit 1. Uh, you'll, and you'll, you're going to need to fill this in and turn it in as you work. So in this lab, um, we're going to do a little demonstration in this plate. Um, to do that, all I'm going to do is follow this background information on the lab sheet. It's very straightforward and tells you exactly how to do it. After I do my demonstration, you're going to be also doing the experiment, but you're going to have to change something about your experiment, uh, which will be your independent variable. So to go ahead and read this, um, it says, background, observe the demonstration of Color Symphony. In the demonstration, 100 milliliters of cold whole milk is placed in a 26 centimeter circular red plastic plate. So here I have 100 milliliters of cold whole milk and a red plastic circular plate. Uh, there is a little bit of water in my plate, but that's not gonna affect the outcome of the experiment at all. It's not a big deal if you do have some water in there. So now I'm just pouring the milk into the plate. And by the way, I'm doing all this uh, with one hand and holding my phone videoing this with the other, so bear with me a little bit. From there, uh, back to the directions. So milk's in the plate now. It now says four drops of food coloring, red, yellow, green, and blue, are dropped approximately three centimeters from the edge at 12, 3, 6, and 9 o'clock in the order red, yellow, green, and blue. Um, so what that means is about three centimeters from the edge, we're going to put a drop of red here, drop of yellow here, drop of green, and then drop of blue. Um, kind of 12, 3, 6, and 9 o'clock, like it's the hands on a clock. It does say do approximately 3 centimeters from the edge. I'm actually going to try to do about 3 centimeters from the edge of the milk. Um, so go by that when you do your experiment. Yes, you should measure. It is approximate, so you're getting it as close as you can. Um, but you might not get it perfectly, and well, that's okay. Little little error in our experiment, but it shouldn't affect it too much. So about that far around those those uh, places on the, in the milk. So um, you'll notice I've already uncapped everything because uh, again I'm doing this with one hand. Um, a drop of red will go at 12 o'clock, about three centimeters from the edge, which is right about there. Then a drop of yellow at three o'clock, which is right about there. Drop a green at six o'clock. And then a drop of blue at nine o'clock. And I did I do have a slight error in my experiment. I apparently somehow a little extra red dripped in there. Um, oh well, I'm just gonna go with it. So there's our food coloring, red, yellow, green, blue. Back to the directions. Next, four drops of Dawn liquid soap are placed directly in the middle, in the milk, in the middle of the plate. Observe. Um, and again, if you're doing this, you're going to have to watch this online. That's what that extra set of directions is there. Um, so four drops of Dawn liquid soap. That's the stuff in the blue bottle, or the blue stuff in the plastic bottle right here. So we're going to put four drops right in the middle. And it's going to look like this, if the soap will come out of the bottle. Two, three, four. So now you observe. Um, the directions say that you do not need to worry about why it's happening. You're only watching it and uh, making some observations. And yeah, you'll notice, try not to bump this as I get close. Um, the food coloring is definitely moving around. It looks like even the soap moved around a little bit. Um, looks like my red and yellow are having quite the reaction to the food coloring. 
swirling around a lot. Uh, the blue and the green a little bit less, but even those two are swirling around. And uh, for whatever reason, looks like the, some of the soap drops and moved and one of them stayed in the middle. So pretty interesting, kind of cool. So to complete this lab, you're going to simply follow the rest of the steps and fill in the blanks on this lab sheet. Um, so that includes this part, which is you're going to reread the paragraph and highlight anything you think is a factor. Because when you get to the question, ask a question, you're going to choose one factor from up here and change it. And that's going to be your independent variable that you're going to fill in right here for the question and right here in your hypothesis. Um, when you, so by the way, your hypothesis, remember, it's make your prediction on what you think is going to happen. And the because part is why you think it's going to happen. When you make your procedures, make sure you list five procedures. Um, so you're going to have to come up with five things you're going to do in this experiment. Uh, and I do grade to make sure you have all of them. Um, down here, you'll need some colored pencils to draw what happens in the experiment. And yes, I gave you a little hint there. And then the back of the worksheet, which is just page two for me, um, you're going to be answering some questions. Um, so make sure you write in complete sentences when you answer those questions. And again, because you need this data, here's what it looks like right now. And this is probably a good point for you to um, really look at it and uh, use what you're seeing right now as your baseline data. Good luck, kids.